guys, so this is going to be a tutorial and I'm super excited about it because it's one of my favorite collections at the moment that MAC has. It's called Red 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 and it's one of my favorite collections ever just because they have reds in there and a little bit of pinks in there which is red is basically my favorite color so that's why I love this collection, duh! Super hyper today for some reason and I'm, I did not eat chocolate or drink hot chocolate or did anything of that. I'm just naturally hyper. I woke up hyper. Woo! I'm so crazy! I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So if you want to see how I achieved this kind of smoky eye but with a hint of red eyeshadows in there, keep on watching to see how I did this. Yeah! So the first thing I went ahead and I did is that I applied my MAC paint in bare canvas all over my eyelid and also on the lower lash line. This is just gonna help to keep the eyeshadows longer on your eyes and prevent them from creasing as well. So the first color I'm going to be taking is called Carbon from MAC and I'm going to be taking this color with this small little eyeshadow brush. Um, if you want, because I've already done my face makeup, so if you are doing somewhat a look like this, I would recommend you to do your eyes first and then your face because sometimes the black will have some fallouts. I just kind of tap it on so it won't, I won't have fallouts as much and I don't really get any fallouts when I do this look so maybe hopefully my trick will help you especially if you add it like a, like a creamy base I find it sticks on uh, a little bit better so I'm just going to take it with this brush and I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid and then I'm going to go ahead and softly blend it out I'm just going to be taking a big fluffy brush, this is the 224 brush from MAC and I'm going to lightly go ahead and blend out the black in the crease. This look might become extremely messy at one point but I find the more like you play around with it, you blend it, it comes out, it comes together at the end. So I just need to blend this black out. The black is something that you're going to be retouching as well during the during this look, so don't worry about it if it's fading away or anything. It's just easy to go ahead and blend it out after. Once you have it blended out the way you want it to be, you want to have that black kind of faded into your skin. So my trick with black to kind of have it blend more into your skin is to use somewhat like a taupey um, color. I'm going to be using MAC Pro eyeshadow. This is the Pro Longwear eyeshadow in Fashion Fix. If you have soft brown or what have you, which I, I am going to be using, but I'm just going to be using this first. So I'm taking it with the same fluffy brush, just a bit, and I'm going to concentrate this color in the crease. I find this really helps to blend out the black and make it look seamless and not too harsh because black sometimes is very hard to blend or get it like even as well so you really need to blend it with somewhat a taupey color I find it blends better, better with the black now I'm gonna be using a red eyeshadow which is I'm super excited about because it's actually from MAC and it's a MAC red eyeshadow this is from the new collection called red 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 which I'm super excited about this is called strike while hot Oot? I don't know hot <laughs> and it's a matte red which is really cool I'm gonna be taking it with the 217 brush from MAC and I'm going to concentrate this color in the crease and blend it with the black as well and I'm gonna start to kind of fade it toward the outer corners well going upwards with this color too A lot of people are actually afraid to use red eyeshadows, but I honestly find them the most unique, beautiful colors to use on the eyes, no matter what colors your eyes. My eyes are somewhat hazily, but when I put red on my eyes or like something black like this, it feels like I have fake con like I have contacts on because my eyes become so light with these kind of color combos. But I find right red does not enhance your under eye circles. Just highlight. I find if you highlight, you will have a better look. <laughs> so try it, and I'm so sure you're going to love it as well. So I have the, the red uh, placed like this, really, really harshly. I'm going to be taking soft brown and blend out the red. 
So I'm just going to lightly go over this red and blend it out. Now I'm just going to be taking my powder foundation from MAC and I'm going to be taking it with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out the harsh lines in the outer corners and kind of also highlight under the brow bone too. I find this is the easiest trick to kind of blend the colors together and make them look seamless. It's fine if you find if the colors faded out, you just need to reapply them during the, during the look. So now I'm going to be taking a beauty powder that's also from the Red 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 collection called Hot Sensation, which is amazing. And it looks like this. It looks like pinkish or whitish on camera, but it, in real life it has this pinkish tone to it, but it's a beautiful highlight. And I'm going to apply it right under the brow bone. Again, I'm staying matte because I am applying somewhat shimmery red later on. I'm going to take that red eyeshadow again and I'm just going to go over in the crease just to enhance it a little bit more. I'm also going to take that black eyeshadow again and make it a little bit darker. I'm taking a small little pencil brush with some black eyeshadow and I'm going to go over the crease with this just to kind of have that black pop out again create that shadowy look. Lower lash line I'm going to be taking a black liner. This is, you can get this black liner from Mac Pro if you have a Mac Pro store. If not, any black eyeliner you have you can use. Um, this one I really like it a lot because I find it stays very well in the waterline, especially inside and outside the eye. So this is called Black Black Chromographic Pencil from Mac Pro. And I'm just going ahead and placing this black in the waterline and also on the lower lash line as well, kind of like have it smudged out a bit. So now I'm going to be taking a flat brush like this, like a like literally a flat brush, and I'm going to go ahead and smudge out this black liner. Just go over it like so, just to have it somewhat a smudged look. It's going to get everywhere, it's fine, you just need to clean it up after. And I'm just going to be joining it with the top one as well. You always need to have somewhat this joinment going on so you don't have like a white line or like your skin peeking through. And I dropped my brush. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set that eyeliner. So I'm taking black eyeshadow, carbon again. And I'm going over this black liner. And I'm just going to drag it to the crease as well. Take the little pencil brush and blend it out. So I'm going to be taking the red eyeshadow from MAC, the new one, and I'm going to tap this color on this brush again, and I'm going to go over the black in, on the lower lash line. I'm going to be taking another color also from the Red Red collection. This is called Red Alert, which is a shimmery reddish color. Really, really pretty. And I'm going to take it with the same brush and I'm going to apply this right on top, everything on the lower lash line, like so. First, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this red eyeshadow first with the same 224 brush. And I'm going to go over this little spot right here just to blend it out a bit. And then I'm going to be taking this color, the same brush, and I'm going to go over the crease with this color. I'm just going to be taking my big fluffy brush that I used to highlight and I'm just going to go over it with the crease and just blend out the colors. I'm going to be taking this black eyeliner again and I'm going to apply it on the upper waterline like this. My trick is to actually look down at the mirror, it's easier for you. If not, you can close your eyes and do this, but I can't do that, it scares me. So I'm just going to do that. Just kind of like tight line. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and lashes. The mascara I'm going to be applying, this is the Studio Sculpt Super Black Lash, which is my favorite at the moment, and you guys have seen me use this quite a few times. And then the lashes, of course, the same lashes that I always use. These are from Walmart. You can get them in the pack of five. The brand is called Kiss, and these are number 11. 
So they're just very um, flirty but yet very rockerish kind of look. So it's perfect for this look. So I'll go ahead and apply these and I'll be back for the finished look. So you guys, this is the finished look. So I'm show you guys what I used on my face. So I don't know how to start because there is quite a few things on my face. I'm going to start off with contour. I went ahead and I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I used Fun at first and then I used Java just for a little bit of the extra contour dimension going on. So I applied that and then I went ahead and I applied, this is limited edition you guys and you've seen it quite a few times now in my videos, um, but I do have a dupe for you guys. So if you have the mineralized skin finish in medium dark, it looks kind of the same thing except this one is a little bit more orangey. So if you don't want the orangey look, then um, you can go with medium dark. So yeah. So this is from the Sharon Osborne collection from MAC that they had a while back and this is called refresh and I just took the pretty color on the top right here just to blend my contour together and then for blush I went ahead and I used gingerly right here which for some reason I do like it today <laughs> um, the past days I've been having uh, some hard time with this blush because I find that it's not going on so well but then I found out that, that is actually my skin that's not been so well lately so I'm actually back on my skincare kind of thing that I do which is water and a slice of lemon inside which is the best thing for your skin you guys it's the best thing for your skin drink that every day and you literally see a difference in your skin in your body in your hair in, in everything you do um, it literally literally feels a difference you have to try it just cold water with a slice of lemon with some ice if you want I love my ice so that's what it is there you go Hopefully that helps. And then for my lips, I went ahead and I used the lip liner. This is in Whirl, which is super, super, super popular right now because of the Kylie Jenner lips. So if you can still find it in your Mac stores, it's actually permanent. They always have it. But in my Mac store, we sold out of it for like forever. And uh, every time we get it, it's just gone right away. So if you have Whirl, go ahead and use it. It's one of my favorite lip liners to wear. And then I mixed in two lipsticks. I mixed in Honey Love. Don't you guys miss Honey Love? It's so sad. That's what's that's what's left in my honey love. I basically colored whirl all over my lip and then I applied honey love and then I made honey love a little bit lighter. So I used uh, Flesh Pot, which is also a permanent with MAC, which is a really light nude color. And then for highlight under my eyes, I went ahead and I used my Prep and Prime highlight in uh, Radiant Rose and then I finished finished it off with the beauty powder from the red 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 collection that you guys seen in my tutorial in um, Hot sensation, so I finished up with that. So this is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it If you have any questions, just leave them all in the comments down below I'll try to get you guys as soon as possible Also, I forgot to mention that if you want to know how I fill in my eyebrows and how I apply my false lashes How I do my contour my highlight my blush my skincare routine all of that's my skin my foundation routine, basically, that's what I wanted to say. All these videos are in the info box for you guys, so all you need to do is go ahead and click on the links, and it will take you right away to the video, so I made it easy to everyone. So they're all in there for you. Go check it out. Yeah, this is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Baby,